Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, very simple verse, a very, 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 very simple verse. We hear it all the time. Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 153. Chapter 2, verse 153. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim ya ayyuhalladhina amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salah inna Allah ma'as sabirin We Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhalladhina amanu he is referring to the believers those who have faith in Allah that we must always remember that inna Allah ma'as sabirin Allah is with those who have patience Allah is with those who have patience and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bisabri was salah, and in, with salah. If we look into the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if we look into the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we will see that whenever he got a good news, he will pray salah and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever he got a good news, he will pray salah and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whenever he got a bad news, he will do the same thing. He will pray to Rakat Salah and ask Allah for Allah's mercy, guidance, protection, assistance to make everything easy for him. Many of us today, we barely pray over five times Salah. Far less to get that inculcate, inculcated into our system. That when we hear bad news or good news, to go and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank Allah if it's good and ask Allah for his mercy and his guidance and his protection if it's a bad news. Because we can't do anything. <laughs> we have no control, my brothers and sisters. See, a lot of us think that we got control. We don't. We can only make the necessary effort to do things, but everything is in the hands of Allah. I don't need to go into the statistics of the world. I don't need to. When we look at life and we look at how things happen in life and with the lives of other people, every day the more we learn that we are not in control. That we belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to Allah is our return. A lot of people only remember this. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajun. We belong to Allah and to Allah is our return. We only remember this when someone passes away. But we should remember this every day. Every minute. Every second. Every moment of our life, that Allah, we belong to you. Interesting. Very interesting. Very simple, but very deep. And as I say that, I want to remind myself, and I need to share this with everyone on al TV and social media. You know, I want to say a special jazakallah to everyone locally, nationally, internationally, social media all your doers and all your kind words and all your support. My father passed away last week. Up to this morning, I had people calling me from all over the world, all over the world. It is really so interesting. I don't want to talk about it because I don't think I'll be able to continue talking about it. But I just had to say jazakallah to everybody. Oh, you name it, Africa, Arabia, London, all over the world. And you know, it becomes very motivating, it does. And it really gives you that understanding that we belong to Allah and to Allah is our return. Yeah, we're supposed to be, think of this every day, but it's really when someone passes away, the haqiqat and the reality hits us. But we should not only wait for that, passing away of someone. Yeah, this life is a very interesting thing, my brothers and sisters. Very interesting. It has nothing like age. People who live, consider that a bonus when you live over 60, 70. Use that opportunity to do good and to make tawbah. 
make repentance and ask Allah for forgiveness. Because we can never tell when that moment will come when our soul will be taken away from us. We can never tell. Let it don't be too late. Because that will be very late. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says after we die, everything cuts, 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 cuts. The only thing that continues after we pass away, after our soul is taken away from us, is that good deed that we did, that masjid, or that school, or that dawa, or that well, or something that we did and people will benefit from the good of it. That as long as they continue to bend, use it, and people continue to benefit, the blessings will go to us. Yeah. That knowledge that we teach someone, we have been the means of teaching the Quran. We have been the means of spreading the message of the Quran. Yeah? Or we have been the means, we have been the means of sponsoring a Quran that someone reads. Oh yeah. When we die, anyone who reads that Quran, anyone who benefits from that Quran, the blessings add to our account. And thirdly, that righteous child that we leave behind, that will pray and do good deeds, do good deeds, good deeds, that we will benefit. You know, my father, not many people knew him. Not even here, nobody. People, one or two people knew him. But he had so many hundreds of people and hundreds of people in his funeral, it was like, wow. The day before, the funeral started, Hume started getting calls that they're going to be a big funeral tomorrow. The people called me and asking me, we know it's going to be big. We have extra preparation. We can't do the janaza today. It's going to be too big. They could not do it because they knew it was my father that passed away. Could you imagine that? The funeral calls me to tell me people are just calling them. And they can't do it today. It's too much preparation. Could you imagine that? He, nobody knew him. He wasn't Trump and Biden. He wasn't a millionaire and a billionaire. He just supported the mission of the Quran. That was all his mission. Whatever one, two dollars he had, he spent it towards Quran. People studying the Quran, distributing the Quran. Up to last year, he sponsored a well. That's why I went to Africa, because my dad and another brother here, brother, brother Siddiq in the back there, they sponsored a well at a masjid that we built for a family who passed away in Africa. Yeah. What I'm trying to say, not because it's my father, it's a living example I live. And nobody came there because of me. It came because of my father's good deed. The hundred sheikhs, scholars, imams, masajid, almost every organization in South Florida attended a janaza. Brother Farouk is a witness. People who went, you will see. But nobody knew him. Come on, he was not Trump or Biden. The only thing he did was he supported the mission of the Quran. I said, Dad, there's someone needs to sponsor a Hafiz in a madrasa. He said, okay. I didn't even know he had one, two little children somewhere was sponsoring them, a little hundred dollars, a hundred dollars a year. You can't buy hundreds of people for your janazah, my brothers and sisters. You can't buy that. You can be a Trump's father, you can't buy that. A billionaire. It is only Allah can make that happen. So why do we waste our time? We know where the future lies in our life and the continuum of that journey. And the people making dua for us. And the students of Quran and the people who spread the message of the Quran. What else do we need? We need a thunderbolt lightning to hit us in our heads so we would wake up. Huh? To realize what Allah wants from us. Yeah?